Hello, this is Morning Prayer, and I'm Phil Manson. There's a new measurement term floating around called R0. It is R0, but it is pronounced R0. It's a messy metric that is shorthand for the reproduction or contagiousness of a disease. In case you haven't heard, the stay in, stay in place order was due to the contagiousness of the coronavirus. If I have it, I don't, but if I have it, I will infect an average of 2.2 to 2.5 other people. The common flu has a lower or not factor. It's not as contagious. Measles, on the other hand, is more contagious than the coronavirus. So when the R naught factor is higher than one, the disease spreads exponentially. We want to stay away from those who are infected in order to stop the spread. What is the R naught metric of the joy of Christ in my life, in your life? When Jesus was talking with his disciples in the last few hours of his life, he warned that the world was going to hate them and that he was leaving them. But I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. He wasn't saying that they're going to be happy all the time. No, joy is not related to happiness or pleasure. Joy is the fruit of a right relationship with God. Joy is choosing to respond to external, external circumstances, like a pandemic, with inner contentment and satisfaction because we believe God will use these experiences to accomplish His work in and through our lives. What is your joy or not factor? If it is less than one, you're probably infected with the virus of grumbling, and that sucks the healthy air right out of our lungs. But the joy that comes from Christ is a good contagion to spread. Infect the world. Infect your world with his joy in you. Let's pray together. So, Father, we approach your altar this morning, joining all of creation, shouting for joy at the work of your hands and praising the glory of your name. You are the God who forgives the sins of all who confess Jesus Christ, the Lord of their lives. And we thank you for the joy that comes with that confession lived out every day. We read in the book of Acts that your disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit, and as a result, there was great joy in the city. It was contagious, even in the midst of danger. And so, Father, forgive whatever grumbling or complaining that we're guilty of, because it does not reflect the beauty of your holiness and the joy that you instill in us. If any of us have lost the joy of your salvation, restore it. Restore it to us and grant a willing spirit to sustain us. For your kingdom is not a matter of eating or drinking or grumbling or complaining. But your kingdom is of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Remind us, Father, that there is no greater joy set before us, even as was set before your Son, that as he endured the cross, may we endure these present trials. Now may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace as we trust in you so that we may overflow with hope and joy by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.